26 May. Right now we're heading to go see Jennifer, our costume designer. Uh, we're gonna spend some time with her going over all of the wardrobe, the costumes that she has picked out for our cast. Um, all those with, with speaking parts. We have, I think it's 24 speaking parts. So she's going through each one of those characters throughout the script and f deciding what she wants them to wear. And now I'm going to meet with her because she'll say, here's what I've done. Here's all the work I've put into it. Am I on track? Do you like all of these outfits? Do you not? Do we need to change something? And we'll kind of have that brainstorm session. We've done that a couple of times in the past few weeks, just over the phone. And so she's not completely coming in with any idea of input from the director, but she's, you know, we've had those conversations and now she's went and taken some of that input, but then using her talent and the things that she's really good in to move forward with that. And so I'm looking forward to going and seeing what our actors could be wearing. Jennifer's really good. I worked with her on a feature film early this year and I saw that she was she was doing tons of work and it was just her where ideally she should have had a second person help her. But she was so so dialed in and so good with what needed to be done and stuff that I, I keyed in really fast of like she is she's really good and I um, I'm excited that she's on this project. Yeah, let's go and meet with her and see what happens. Yeah, she I wanted in corals and turquoises. So I grabbed a few scarves just to break things up, or like this pashmina, because it's that time of year that it could be effective and give us a little bit more texture and depth. What we're going to do now is go character by character and review the wardrobe to make sure that we're all on board of how we see this character and how she's to be represented. So with Daisy's rack, which we started over here, who's our oldest but more uh, hopeful character and who comes from a native background, I'm putting her in more bright, colorful things, as well as holding her mainly to like cottons and natural fibers. Then when it comes to her, I'm now walking to the water. I'm gonna get to that water. You even, I think we had a conversation, you said you saw a solid color skirt, reflects the color of water. Then I said, I love this top with it, but can I find a second one? Because I'm shopping in a Goodwill. Because of the grace of God, bam! Wow. Like an hour later, I found the second one. Because we're going to have to rip it up, bandage it up, so I need seconds on it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yes. In, the, in my mind, it was seconds on the skirt. But this says, well, it's seconds on the shirt. Seconds on the shirt because she... Maybe she... Where she tear it from? To me, I just saw it down at the leg, but I read it as well. That's probably me, but it. But the but the sleeve or something, or just the bottom of it. I read it as shirt. Huh? Yeah. Can that work for you? I think that'll work. Okay. Well, if um, that's what you found, then that's those little miracles. That's great. I know. I it blew my mind that there was a second one there. I mean, I just kept going, how does this happen? I, you know, again, those things happen for me often. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so yeah, yeah just keep sharing me. those things too, because it's just okay. encouraging like we're doing that. Oh, I believe in that stuff. Project. That stuff happens for me all the time. And I, that's, those are the signs that everything's going the way it should. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I just, I love that. since I read this script, I want to be a part of it, and I knew it was going to be a fabulous thing. Then we move over to Ruby's character, and just by the namesake, I decide I'm going to put her in more Ruby tones. And her character will be a little bit more affluent and worldly, so I'm going to put her in more of these finer fabrics that look like silk, but you know, they're rayon and polyester these days. But putting her in more, more interesting patterns versus a native pattern that shows that she's been around and experiencing life. Then all the way down to our good friend, Melinda, who is a Suns fan. So we're going to jump her into a little bit Suns fan fabulousness, as well as, you know, lead her into the purples and oranges and some gold. And she'll stay in a more casual wear, like non-constructed, more of a denim and t-shirt kind of vibe. It's great with Melinda's character too, with all the, the Phoenix Sun stuff, is, is we got permission from the Suns to, to use some of their um, logos and such in it because we're in Arizona. And so this is fun to see actually what, 
we're, what some of the stuff we're gonna be using in front of the camera when we make this film. So, so we've spent about an hour and a half over here going through all the wardrobe, going through the scenes, looking at each character, what they're going to be wearing. I think it's what, 31 days? 31 days. 31 script days in the film. So it's the decisions of do we have, does that, every time we see that person in a new day, do they need to be in a wardrobe, you know, in the same outfit or can we change you know, that they could wear the same thing two or three times. And so those are all discussions that we've had. Yeah. Jennifer's great because of her experience. And this is, this is her world. So I walk in like, okay, what do you have? Okay, this is great. Let's, let's do this. But I'm, as I'm leaving, I'm feeling very confident that costumes are taken care of. Um, amazing what Jennifer's doing. I'm excited for what our actors are going to be wearing. And now I'm off trying to solve all the other problems or the lack of we don't have a production designer yet nobody in our department we shoot tuesday however many however few days that is from here but this is so great to to take the time to drive over here to see what jennifer's done and to be able to know like mentally i can that this is off my plate jennifer is off and running with it and now it's okay what you know as a producer what next is on the list those immediate fires that we need to put out now so when we start to shoot everything is just smooth you know flowing and go from there so thank you jennifer you betcha. she's amazing hey we're headed to our tech scout now uh, have that at 1 p.m uh, tech scout is we've already found the majority of the locations that we're working on um, Tech Scout is really when you bring in key department heads to go through and talk through the scenes. Okay, are we shooting night or day stuff? Are we shooting, what order are we shooting in? Does it make sense to start in the kitchen and shoot that first before we shoot the exterior garden stuff? Um, all of that will go through. We're gonna walk through three physical locations and one of those locations, the doctor's office stuff is where we're gonna shoot that as if it's a hospital and then a doctor's office. So I think we have scheduled about four, four and a half hours to do a tech scout. Tech scouts are really important because it's a time that you literally can work through where are we putting up lights, where kind of roughing in, maybe the camera could hear, could be here. You're, you're looking at all of those scenarios and, and it's a way to really kind of diffuse some of the, the problems that you might not have thought of or the locations manager or me being that as well on this project, maybe hadn't thought of, um, but when we get there, there'll be things like that that will come up and we'll be able to talk and work our way through it. So even though we're spending a half a day here, that time is invaluable because when on set, we've already talked through some of those scenarios and have a plan, um, even like parking. Parking can be a huge issue. At the house it will be because um, it's in a neighborhood and so we can't, you know, there's not a parking lot in front of the yard. And so we're gonna have to strategically park in different areas, but we'll work through all of that, where gear's going, um, where Crafty's gonna set up, like a lot of those decisions that can be made now. So when we start shooting in those like locations, we've already answered those and we can move on to the new problems and the new issues that are facing day of. So uh, I've learned to love tech scouts and the importance of taking the time to to be patient and really work through through that to spend that day or, or a couple of days. We have a half a day on this so far.